to start? Yeah. All right. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the DDHD oh, podcast. My name is Marwan Maher. My name is Juice. And we have a very special, special introductory guest yeah. to the show yes. honoring Happy us. To be here. Who are you, man? Who am I? I I'm but a citizen of Earth. <laughs> um, my name is Mpo And if you're a po- producer, Jesus. Yeah, if you're a producer, you're done. I don't fuck with you. I'm sorry. What's your name you. again? My name is Mpo Kowaho. Because that is definitely an unforgettable name. Yeah, I right appreciate there, that. Put some respect much, on that name too, Thanks. man. Where's that name from, man? Um, it's a South African name. It's uh, Tswana. Tswana. If I. Uh, if I like getting my stuff right, That's yeah, nice, yeah. yeah. Were you always recognized for that name when you were growing up? You know, if there's anything that I've been through is having my name butchered <laughs> I feel most that. of my life. I feel that. If the, I, I think imagine. that's one of the things that I uh, can concede to, even though I should correct, you know, people, mm-hmm. you know, rigorously and aggressively, but I back off of that a lot now. Just yeah, eh? it it. I'm so used to. You know, people mispronouncing my name. I, I don't think I hold any malice. Yeah. You know, mm. to yeah, anybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know it's just not a common name for most but people. But there's yeah. so many yeah. names out there now that when you look at it, it's like, I didn't know how to pronounce it. Mm. And now it's like, there's so much respect on that name. Yeah. And people uh, know it, that. that it becomes like, Ante you know what I'm saying? That, get, like, yo, yeah. you know, how, ch- you know, like, I, I couldn't say that in the when, beginning. When they, when he, when they won the finals, man, I was just like, yo, my name is on a jersey in the mm. weirdest way. I know, in like right? the weirdest way and I was just like that's so nuts he made any weird name marketable that's so yeah. nuts yeah. I'm looking at it I'm like his name is pronounced yeah like yeah. if you pronounce and I'm going wow like, yep. Wow. Yep. Wow. yep that I'm tripped me syllables. out yep. and I told my mom and she's going oh, you're right mm-hmm. and, she's like, and, she, and she's pronouncing it and I'm just like that's crazy that's and we're amazing. just looking at each other just like look how far we climb it, it's it's Yo, and I'm like really Mahershala, smart. Mahershala Ali, when he came out, oh, I was like, man. I couldn't say it in the beginning either yeah. when you're trying to read it, but now I could, it just rolls off the it tongue. Yeah. It feels right? so good right? to say Mahershala. You like. know, it's funny, it's funny you say that. My agent, I remember being 14 years old mm-hmm. in this game. We got to get to all of that, man. And, like, And I remember telling my agent, you know, I think I should change my name. Mm. I, I, I was, you know, I was, I, I was raised on sitcoms. And like what? What's your favorite? Fresh Prince like, has an immense influence Oof. on me. I, I think, I think for the first ten years of my career, I still thought I was going to be on a sitcom. All like, right. I, like I was. That's how. That was the dream. But that's how sitcoms raised me. Yeah. I just that was life, you know. Mm. Um, and so I got. I was getting caught up in all the Jamie Foxx stuff and him yeah. changing his name and just really. The respect that I had for him mm-hmm. and the influence he was kind of having yes. on me, and and so his sitcom is you know sh- 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 kind of just taken off at the time. The yeah. Jamie Foxx show, that yeah, was a big yeah. Show. you know, kind of mm-hmm. when when I'm show. when I'm getting my agent and and so I'm influenced by that and his story and and you know I was like well maybe I should you know change my name and thinking it matters mm-hmm. right and and I just remember my agent telling me he's like make them pronounce it make them learn how to pronounce absolutely, it absolutely so it's man. amazing how you said that yeah about Russia, and now it just now mm-hmm. you just say that's it. more powerful you know man, what I to mean? me yeah it's I'll, I'll meet people that you know they'll bring up Mahershala or somebody mm-hmm. with a some actor with a unique Ron, name or yes. like Mahershala yes. specifically yeah. right they'll be like oh ooh, that actor uh and I'm going, uh, 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 oh, Mahershala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm wondering, what the fuck <laughs> are you yeah. saying? <laughs> and then I'm going, oh, okay, Mahershala. And then I go, wow, it's so easy for me to say. Yeah. And then I'm getting the understanding of my agent telling me to make people pronounce it. It's more yeah. powerful when you do that, I man. I go out of my way to Sue, do like, those things. Do it. You know? Yes. I go out of my way to do those things. And and I love when people send me messages asking me how to pronounce my name. Yeah. That's amazing. Like, that's yeah. actually really cool. And I'll spell it out for them phonetically. And, and I like yeah, I dig yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's cool, man. I mean, I you, want... you're talking, you're preaching to the choir here. Because mm-hmm. as somebody who 
rap name is his last name. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like names to me are powerful, yeah, man. And absolutely. you know, and that's the greatest mm-hmm. advice to just kind of stand by what you L- believe like, in and let them pronounce it. Be who you are. Like yes. your name is who you are. are. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and your parents thought about this. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah, when, when they gave identity. it to it me, yeah. yes. Yeah. You know, you know, uh, Bob Marley. I always see the clip of him and, that I love when he when he grabs it's his birthday hair. Today. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Happy birthday, Happy birthday right. Big up. And he grabs his hair and he goes, "This is my identity." Yeah. Mm, it's my identity. See so it's interesting that he, he said so that much, too. Yeah. It's the synergy of things, man. It's, but I can only yeah. imagine you as a fourteen-year-old teenager, young in the game, uh, from the city. Which ends are you from? Uh, bro. Everybody always like, yo, what block, what block, every what ends. block, every ends, what block. <laughs> I grew up it's, Davenport, it's what we do. Albany Avenue. Okay. Davenport okay. and like Bathurst. Yes, okay. yes. Albany Avenue. Toronto. Right That's what's up. Straight Toronto. up. Like That's Toronto Parks and Rex. Yes. Was like my was like my stuff. You know, they bring out the tether ball. Yeah. You remember that? <laughs> no, they don't know about that? tether ball, bro. You guys remember that? That's the the Toronto Parks and Rex, they'd have the shed. Stop it. You remember that? They would have the shed. And then from Saga, all the, he doesn't all the, know all that. All the stuff for the kids, the tether ball, yeah. you know, the, you know the, the pails, you know, digging the sand and stuff, the, the swing and everything. Yo. And so I was doing like that's I an remember, '80s baby flex, bro. Man. I remember doing show knows about talent it. shows for Toronto Parks and Rec when I was like seven, six, seven, eight, nine years old. Yeah. Like that. That's like when I'm when I thought I was gonna be Michael Jackson. Mm, okay. Like, <laughs> like that. That was legit. Like I was very Full convinced. Confidence. But Full this, confidence. Be, this before. Damn. We you got know, a lot all of the common, sitcom man. stuff. Yeah, this yeah, before yeah. all like thinking you're gonna be on a sitcom stuff. Is I was this preteen years or this. No, this is like six, seven, eight, nine years old. All right, old. all right. And pivotal years. Yeah. Well, I'm like you know, watching like Faith video. Mm-hmm. Th- you know, my mom broomstick guitar mm-hmm. and giant leather jacket hey. and glasses, Walker changed trying my to be life. George hey. Michael, just you know, doing the stuff and mm-hmm. what what else? All, all kind of stuff. Uh, I remember mom bought me the bad tape. 87 and I still have that cassette. Stop. No, real speak. Yo, ca- no that, way. cassettes are real actually speak. VHS I still have that VHS back. VHS and cassettes are actually worth money now. It's Did you know this? Back. You know, I don't know if I'm going to sell it though. Crazy. Yo, I don't coming know back. if I'm going to sell it though. I don't Keep know if that. I could. Keep don't. that. Now, I don't. have dang- I have the dangerous cassette. Mm, I might it. flip that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I might flip that one. Yeah, Dude. man. Yeah, I mean, imagine I like now I'm versus. Yeah, you gotta hold on when you're two-time Academy Award I don't know if I'll ever winner. sell the bad cassette though. Yeah. Is what I'm trying to say. Mm. Like, I don't know if I'll ever too sell much that. sentimental exactly. value. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That was mm-hmm. the first shit like my mom ever bought me. I remember being like, what? I'm like four or five years old. Yeah. I remember this '87, and mom buys me. Is that, that Yo, was the most important thing to big me? Big up that, to that your cassette. mom for actually. I assume like she's the one who well, yeah, yeah, all of this yeah, stuff, you know what 100%. I mean? As a young kid and stuff like that, not even to make it about me, but I remember, like, me having that same bug and a lot of the stuff that you're talking about, like, I I really, I'm with you on it, nice. you know what I'm saying? Like, nice. Michael Jackson was a big influence on me, Fresh Prince was a big influence on me, and I really wanted to be an actor. My mom brought me to acting classes as a kid. So, so... So are we we gonna like find something for you or? Hey man, this is a strategic I mean, I wasn't invite. Trying to say, but I mean, I brought my resume. <laughs> are we still, gonna, gonna like? Are we gonna like? You know, I was, I was. Um, but like, big up to your mom for like, you. you know, doing that because yeah, my yeah, like, bro. my life, her her life was so busy. My dad's life was so busy. They couldn't know, keep up with it. I don't know how I get to a lot of the stuff without. All of the friendships she would make, right. the sacrifices, the the bus rides, right. the taxi yeah. trips. Uh, she was an influential, very influential. Right. You know, and there. then the trip is she was a singer, actor ah, herself. Ah. Is that where she, the creative comes in? You know, She's, I would I would very much say I get it from my, yeah. from my mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, she she my mother escapes apartheid riddled South Africa, like. The, I'm talking about like the the the, the shit, mm. yeah, like the shit, yeah. yes, like the peak of the, the worst shit. of the yes. worst, like born in it that um, that so many mm-hmm. have been through, so many immigrants that mm-hmm. come from war torn countries yeah. and have experienced such atrocities, and that's the craziest thing is how many countries have experienced such atrocities, yeah. and so, um, a si- my sister showed me video, uh, a YouTube video of my mother. Uh, big family or no? In uh, yeah, pretty yeah. big. Yeah. In uh, in this kind of 
institutional singing, dancing, acting troupe out of South Africa, and it's called Ipintombi. Ipintombi. So it's it's very much like a, you know, uh, a league of sorts. You know, you, the, okay. the, the the young cats come in, they get older, they leave, and then the new generation because it's a very institutional okay. type type of deal. And that sparked so, it. So my mom, my sister, showed me video of my mother on this like Israeli Ed Sullivan show okay. in like the fucking late 60s like early 70s okay. type shit and my sister's just like yo see if you can spot mom and i'm tripping like what the f <laughs> what <laughs> like i knew she did the shit but evidence right this was evidence mm -hmm. so i'm just looking Okay, and I, I'm like, okay, I think that's mom. And my sister's like, yep, yep. it's her. That's crazy. And my mom, like this slim, like, I'm like, my mom was a fox, bro. I'm looking at this, <laughs> and I'm going like, who, who are you? And, and then so, so she tells me this story about how while they were doing these tours, going on all these talk shows, like at the peak of, like in the middle of an apartheid, apartheid, like Mandela just went to jail and shit. Gotcha. So I can like you know Soweto's getting burned mm -hmm. and shit like mm -hmm. it's all that Serafina shit. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like and then like Biko no joke, rising man. like type of shit, bro. She tells me stories about how she would she returned home once and the government goes if you if you stay you may not ever be able to leave again, and really? if you leave you can't come back. Really. I remember her telling me this story, and I'm just, and I, and I don't know if I've ever been old enough to really fathom that shit until now, mm. till you know, last few years, just the state that I've been in of consciousness, yeah. you know. For her to take I, that chance to it, do that and to still have, I don't even know, bro, the willingness and and the optimism to put you in acting and kind of nurture Bro, that. Can you imagine the trauma? Come on, too? man. Can you That's what I mean. Like, too, like the trauma that so many of our, our, our immigrant parents like just just haven't re resolved. 100%. Mm. Man. 100%. You, it, it, it's, it, you, you think about what they went through and then you think our path in North America and then I think that's why like a lot of us are very humbled in our experiences where we've, we've experienced what that experience might have been like for them yeah. like your mother telling yeah. you stories probably humbled you and reignited some fire in you to yeah. want to be better yeah. and do better and you've got it like i i remember pitbull once said he's like we are we haven't been through shit mm -hmm. compared to our parents they rolled the red carpet That's for us. i really like his progression like uh, i incredible. really like you gotta respect it feel like Mr. Where Worldwide. He's at. just remembering kind of like where he was like the rapper that he was was he like signed to like no yeah, limit or something yeah, before yeah. wasn't he like he no was uh, Dr. Luke. Dr. Luke. Luke. He was, you know saying, he was right? with Luke. Yeah, he was right. with Luke before. But if you were from the South, you knew who he was. Yeah. yeah like yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, like yeah, I've been yeah. I've been to like you know New Orleans, Atlanta. So like when you're there, yeah. it's like different. They know yeah. those artists. Right. But it's such a wicked progression for that guy. 100%. Yo, he's bigger amazing? than Pitbull, like an actual yeah, breed of dog. Actually, yeah, he is. When you ah! Google Pitbull. His name comes up First. and the dog comes oh, second. Right. That is that's the greatest right. How big double is that? entendre. Come on. Yeah. That is such a great double entendre. Fire. I love yeah. me some double entendre. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good, brother. That was top tier. How crazy is that? that was, it's like so nuts with him. That's kind of my it. goal, too, because I want Rochester to be bigger than the city. So when like you Google that. my shit, it go. comes up like me that. first, then there the city. I like that. You know what I mean? I like that. Uh, you, man, We're working on it. We're going to get there. You're we'll Tyler get there. Perry. <laughs> I'm like, you'd probably be Tyler, more Tyler Perry than I would. You know? I'm like, come on, man. Working on it, man. That brother We're doing on something it. else, too, man. Yo, I want to know about, like, because this is the Dreams Don't Have Deadlines podcast, man. Yeah, and, man. Tell me about you it. You know, and uh, this is really all about people who've been able to persevere. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Through all kinds of obstacles, Yo. who've had successes, who've had failures, but they've never given up on their dreams, you know? Yeah. And it could be for young and old, you know, we all it's have them. It's such a tough racket. The it is, that and I, I like, as an actor. It's such a tough racket. It's, it's so, doing it for a long time. I don't know why I do it sometimes. Mm. Yeah. Legitly, like, I love the shit to death. Like, Talk to me, man. Like, performing is everything. It's, it's like, I, I, I watch so much TCM now, like Turner nice. Classic Movies. Yes. Nice. Like, that's literally the channel that's on my TV, like, every day. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've watched a little bit of new stuff, but like, not really as much anymore. 
I watched That's a like, real thespian talking here. Oh, yeah. I watched a lot of TC. Like TCM is literally on every day. That's the and, real shit. And I watch like cartoons. I love. Are you studying or shit. are you? In, I, it's enjoy. it's a lot of that. Yeah. It's both. It's yeah. studying mm-hmm. and it's enjoyment. Now did that as happen well. at a very early? Because you said you started at fourteen. And, yeah. And and you worked with Maya Angelou, right? At, <laughs> at, the, at a very young age, at 14 years old, but I wanted to know, like... I've been tripping out lately about some of this stuff, man. Yeah, it's eh? like Bro, your list I, of people you work like, with is... At 14 is years trip. old, bro. Yeah, like, how did you get that role, by the way? Like, did you... Were you acting before, <clears throat> or was that your first acting? So, that was my second audition. Um, wow. What? <laughs> wow. My first audition was Are You Afraid of the Dark? No way. I was gonna bring that up. I was Yoga gonna save that. No way. I was Yoga gonna bring flame. that up. So... Real speed. Because wow. I remember. Speed, I auditioned for like five Are You Afraid of the Dark episodes, never booked one. Mm. I'm to this day cheesed. <laughs> one of my favorite shows. That's okay, a legendary come on. Show. Okay, like I'm not even in the playing building. with you. I'm to this day cheese. I never book Are You Afraid of the Dark episode. <laughs> but I did a Tales from the Crypt Keeper voiceover. And the way I read in that place, like if you don't, <laughs> right the like, if you, <laughs> you better not be playing that you're giving me this, because I'm just gonna. And I had to calm down. Yeah, like, man. Just like settle down. Trust okay. me. <laughs> so first. But you're a part of a lot dog. of people's childhood hoods, dog. man, in this country. Dog, dog. You know the craziest thing is, I auditioned for like four Goosebumps before I booked one. Mm. Seriously, it was like four episodes. Dreams I remember, don't have deadlines. I remember man. one of the early ones early. that I did. I thought I was gonna book one of the first two because I wanted to do. It was like Phantom of the something, and I'm yeah. like, yo, I want to do this one. Right. This is that. But I end up getting Awesome Ants, and it's like lit. I think it was like the last episode they produced. Wow. Like you I think it was like you. the last episode of the season. That's or amazing. Something. That's wow. amazing. And I didn't even like. It's such a trip, bro. I watched my Goosebumps episode now, bro. I rate that shit so much. <laughs> <laughs> I rate that shit so much. This I'm guy like, worked with Kevin Costner, Maya Angelou, yeah. Henry Cavill. Dog. The yeah, list goes Singleton, on, but dog. the Goosebumps and the Afraid yeah. of the dog. Dark. Dog. That's, that's, that's the, the one. one. Dog. If you were a child actor in those days, and if you didn't do a Goosebumps. You you were you ain't, yeah you, you, ain't, ain't, you ain't doing shit you ain't, you ain't get it, it. <laughs> you ain't get it like that. I just remember that match and the every fit of the dark right. like, intro. That, remember that match that always on. comes in and that hollow music. You know something, man? I would just love to go back to the nineties for mm. a little bit. It was a great era. I would it was just a great love era. to go back to the nineties just for a little bit. Great decade, man. Dude, so to answer your question about the Maya Angelou stuff, mm-hmm. I I is that my was your sec- second audition. second audition second. and. Do you even know who this person is? Y- yeah, I was I yeah? was familiar with her. My okay. mother would be playing her stuff all the time in the oh, house. Okay. Yeah, and we and we okay. had like the cassettes. Mm. We got the stuff on cassette to oh, where she's okay. speaking and you listening to the voice and wow. the resonant and wow. if you remember um if you remember um the Charlie Murphy uh E True Hollywood story stuff when you talking about the yeah. Rick James. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes if you yes, remember yes. the way he described Rick James, yeah. I'm talking yeah. about uh his, his, his R was orange. <laughs> his R was orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Her aura was orange. Like mm, you felt right. that shit, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Like through the tape. I, right, right through the and tape. And I walk yeah. in the room and it's like, holy shit! And you feel it when she talks to you. She, you know, good morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you like, Ugh. can I? Can I just like interject <laughs> you know, it's weird, for man. one second mm-hmm. because let me paint this picture that I'm seeing mm-hmm. because this is. 90s? This is 1997. No so social this is media. No social my goosebumps. media. Yeah. These when this, celebrity right goosebumps. and celebrities were celebrity. There wasn't the that it's happening right now where fan yeah, and celebrity yeah. are kind yeah. of yeah. level the, the playing connect, field. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. know what these people look like. Yeah. This is why yeah. people are fainting at Michael Jackson yeah, concerts because yeah, you're it. seeing this yeah. person yeah. that you haven't seen and all you're hearing is their tape. Yeah, you yeah. know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. you're not you can't see a picture of them online or anything like that. You just have their album cover or whatever you've seen them. If they've sent you a fan letter, right? So to meet that actual person is like you feel like you're meeting a god or like somebody just on a level. Way for it. Way for it. I was. I was I was a little tripped out, you know, I was just seeing her. She was she was so nice. And then I did my audition and she asked me if my mother is in the waiting room. Mm. Okay. And I go, I'm I remember I'm like, you want me to go get my mother? And she goes, Yes, please ask her to come in. And like she was telling me where like my name is from and everything. She's like then this Wow. Like, you don't remember she wow. she was you don't remember she was in Zaire with Ali. Oh my god. 
You don't remember that dog? Wow. They portrayed her in the movie, dog. That's you don't true. remember the movie, the, the Will Smith movie? The, the oh movie, my the movie, God. Movie. She went there, dog. Oh, and that was even better. Bro, she, bro, she knows Shabazz. Oh she knows God. Jane Baldwin. She mm. knows all these. She know Angela Legendary. Davis. Oh, she rock with all God. these people. She's seen it so, all. So she's telling me like where my name is from and stuff. And she goes, you know, can you go get your mother, please? And she, no, she said it more like. Can you get your mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. elegant way. It's speaking, so right? powerful yeah. and like the gravitas yeah. and yes. everything, right? Yeah. Yes. So I go and I get my mother. I bring my mother in, and I don't even think my mother knew what was about to happen. Mm. I don't even think she knew what was about to happen. Oh, really? I bring my mother in. And my mom's like, "What?" I'm like, "Just come, please." I'm like, "Just come." And we walk in, and my mother literally looks at the woman and starts screaming. And gets on her knees and starts bowing and like, like she, like she's <laughs> really? legit at a mosque. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Some Screaming and like bowing, like oh my goodness, wowed like wow. you yeah. said, Michael Jackson. Wowed yeah. like you said, and I remember that reaction, just like you're talking about. I can, you couldn't I, have nailed that better. When you said that, that's exactly what you I thought. You couldn't have nailed it. Better. I was there. My mom got on her knees. She screamed. Mm -hmm. She got on her knees and she started bowing like this, and she just kept doing it. And I'm yes. just standing there not fully understanding the weight of what's going on like like knowing that we listen to the woman we but like that's like her hero like you know the way it is and she would have never thought she would have ever had this opportunity so if there's anything like i really really am thankful for is to be able to have given my mother moments like that mm. you know and we got to that's meet great. billy d once too wow i had the same comic convention booking agent it's him, you know, the conventions that you go to, you know, San Diego Comic and New York and, and shit like those. that. You know yeah, what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we had the same comic convention booking agent for a little bit. And That's Billy D is a painter. He paints. Huh. And it's gorgeous shit. Gorgeous. Com uh, booking agent called me up. He's like, yo, he's coming for TIFF. Mm. He's like, yo, you want to come to the show? You want to come? I'm like, uh, duh. Yeah. Duh. He goes, you could bring... Because Billy D has got to be a Comic-Con legend. 100%. Like, he's got to be playing 100%. all the cons. Though. He goes, you can bring a plus one. <sighs> I bring my mom. Nice. Like, I'm, like, one of the smartest things I've ever done. Oh, I could imagine. I bring my mom. My mom, like, somehow she was composed. Mm. But the moment that she met the man, uh, I never seen somebody talk somebody head off more than my mom talked that man head off. My mom <laughs> talked that man's head right off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I've got, I've got to. Dog, it's very nice dog. to meet you, but uh, she's like, she's sorry. like, she's like, you are the last great one. <laughs> if my mom would talk like, like that, and right. I'm looking at my mom, and I swear my mom would go throw the drawers at Billy D. Jeez, dog. I'm wow. I swear <laughs> my mom would go to throw the drawers at Billy D. Dog, and I'm standing there like, am I old enough to see this? Oh <laughs> and for I Billy D, it's a Wednesday. For a second, eh? yeah, it's yeah. a I Wednesday worried, for eh? Billy D. It, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. like that was a Tuesday actually. <laughs> It's like, Mom, it's not even Friday. <laughs> Woo! It's nothing. Dog, dog, I'm standing there watching this. The way this man was just... Mm. It's with it. Well, thank you. And I'm like, Billy, you really not helping talking <laughs> to my mom on smooth and shit, bro. Like, chill. Did like, he he's, give all, you... he's all like, how about a coat? Yeah, coat go for it. And I'm like, my mom and Billy D. William right now, oh, my God. I would not That's have had not. a problem with that. Mm. Okay? <laughs> like, I was actually considering yeah, this. Yeah, I'm yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, bro. Wait, wait. And I'm chilling. Turn you into a Mormon. You got and a I'm beer chilling, gal. And I'm chilling, trying to compose myself. And, uh, seriously, he right? Got a beer gal, so... I and then know. I go, it's another wicked moment that I gave my mother. Nice. You dig? And I'm like, nice. I could not have imagined ever nice. being able to have given her an opportunity like this if it wasn't for being blessed with the thing that she, like, fought to get me into. Do you find that you she's know? one of the, the main reasons you do what you do and what you're striving I, for? You know, I don't... I learned a, a, a while ago that I don't work for me anymore. You know, I always had to learn things the hard way. Yeah. It's, it's, it's actually... A thing for me for some uh -huh. reason learn in the hard way thank you sir but we learn as we do we learn when you do as well so yeah 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 because 
and I can say that now because of what she said to me recently. What was that? And I, I told you that she was doing her thing, you know, that, mm-hmm. you know. She, she hailed me up recently. I was at her house. We were chilling. And she goes, mm, Paul, can I tell you something? And I'm like, of course, Paul. Go ahead, go ahead. She goes, you know, when I see you doing your, your thing now, and I see you on the TV, and she was complimenting my ability, and I was tripping. Like, my mom was just telling me how good she thought I was. And I'm just tripping. And then she goes, but that's not what I wanted to tell you. She goes, I'm living through you, mm. my son. She says, it, it brings me so much joy to see you yeah. doing the thing that I had dreamt to do. Oh, wow. How satisfying wow. is that feeling? Bro? I, like, so that's why I can answer you like wow. that. You, you did? That's why I yeah. can say yes now. Yeah. I would have felt like maybe I'm trying to carry Africa on my back, South mm-hmm. Africa on my back yeah, or something before yeah. that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, for her kind of thing now, yes. I mean, think about it. You're, it's crazy. She, you're telling us that she escaped apartheid. It's so crazy. Which is one of the biggest atrocity moments in, in human history. <sighs> and then it's she's crazy. looking at you, looking at the TV, and looking at your success. Yeah. Like that's a big that's that's Ooh. upgrading that generation in you your know, family line right there big but, time and that's and that's why when she said that shit to me man like battery in your back and the key to life is being the age to be able to process it, right mm-hmm. you know and to really be able to appreciate yeah what she said you know I I I, I was very humbled yeah you know I didn't have all this what were stuff you going to through at that time was it a successful period was it a maybe a Slump you know, or in you know, between I, stuff? Were you I feeling think, good? I think, I think I was probably in my head a little bit about mm-hmm. stuff. I was, mm-hmm. I was fighting the audition process. Right. Okay. I've really been fighting against the audition process. What do you mean by that? I haven't, I haven't been wanting to do it. Mm. I haven't been wanting to participate. Got I don't it. feel as though there's reason for me to do it as often. Because right. of your accolades I, and portfolio. It, it, and, 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 it, and, and I hate even saying it a certain way. I don't even like speaking a certain way about stuff to just I don't want to feel a certain way when I hear myself say it. Okay. I think it's just about but, knowing your worth. Yeah, and at this point, and I really you know think, your worth. I, but but it's like I really still gotta prove certain right. like you don't think I could do this. Right. Got it. You don't think for real? Mm. Now why do you think that is? Why why do you think that happens? <clears throat> I, don't th- I mean, come on. I mean I think I think a lot of that is just Canada's being a few steps behind Got it. the states and the star system. Mm. And just that understanding of how to promote from within. Like there's you know? always a handicap because you're Canadian, you find it when really, you work it in really American feels, productions? Well, well, we just occupy a space of safety. Okay. And not big enough to articulate that as well as I can, as best I can. We just... It's a little brother thing. You know what I yeah. mean? Mm-hmm. We're not... America's Rome. Mm-hmm. We're not Rome. We're not Rome. Right now, and I'm not talking about I love Rome and all this yeah, stuff, yeah. but there, there's aspects of Rome that you're gonna go, yeah, that I, I, I mess with that. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. gonna go, yeah, I, 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 I mess with that. Yeah. The idea of promoting from within, mm-hmm. as America does, like you work, you you go to states, you good at something. Yeah. You stay with it. You know, you'll, you'll make it. You're going to be big at the thing. It. Now, do you find now that's... you got to assimilate? Mm. It's almost like you got to assimilate first, and then they give you the success. That's almost what it feels like. Now, is that because of the it market? It almost feels like that. Right. Now, is that because of the size of the market, or do you find that their culture is different? Like, I and I'm, I, I ask, think it's a bit of both, maybe. Yeah. Do you, have ask, you ever lived there? I, I sp- oh, just back I, and I forth. I spent a lot of time there. Yeah. There. Okay. Not, maybe not living as often, but mm-hmm. I work like a lot. Which part? L.A. Yeah, all over. New Orleans, Atlanta. Um, Favorite city? Uh, did we do New York? Mm. We shot something. Um, comic convention wise, yeah. into Knoxville, Sacramento, more obscure right. okay. spot. You know, so like Different moving style. around. Yeah. You know, and, and and it's like, so I feel like. That understanding is there, you know. Um, what was your favorite city? I don't feel city? like you ever really fully know something, but, you know, part so of it. What was your favorite city that you just mentioned? Ooh, man. 
What story jumps out to you yeah, about uh, oh American? Oh my goodness. I enjoy LA a lot. LA. Okay. Mm-hmm. I enjoy LA okay. a lot. Me too, man. Me too. A lot. Now, why I is that? LA. Is that because of the creative environment that you're in? I really probably, you can make that argument. But I really love going to mansion parties too, and every <laughs> because it's not a thing. They're you don't go to good. bars. Yeah, I don't go to bars and, yeah, and I'm there. Yeah. It's like I'm going to like I'm just like yeah, this is kind of fly. Yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. like the this, Hollywood life. Eh? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Didn't yeah. I- <laughs> it's so much fun. Like it's I can't it's fun. lie. It's, it's really fun. is. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. New Orleans was eye opening. Mm. Is is the best. Well, that's way to an put interesting that. city. Right is, I, there. Yeah, that's it, an interesting really, city. There's so many levels to that place. Like, if you don't know that place, like, I re- I re- I really respect New Orleans. Like, I rate the hell out of that. They're place. a different breed. Eye opening. Never been. It was very eye opening. Like, mm-hmm. you learn about culture, history. Ah. You know of us. You know the Acadian. I don't know if most people notice the Acadian French um, Africans that land in. Scotia, mm-hmm. they're they're kicked out. The war, like the British kicked them out. They traverse mm. to New Orleans, right? To New Orleans, yeah, yeah. to Louisiana, yeah. and this is how you get the Cajun, the Creole. Okay. I, learned, I, Creole, was, I was very today years old when I was learning this recently. Hey, and one thing like, about Dreams Don't Have Deadline podcast, you're gonna learn something. Something. Something you're gonna learn. Learn something. Learn something. I love saying. That. <laughs> learn, yeah, learn something, man. Now, you, uh, I, I hear a lot. And I was, I was looking some, some stuff about you, and it seemed like you really emphasize in staying in Canada, and, yeah. and working within the Canadian film I industry. I love how you knew that. I love how you know that. Um, there was some emphasis. It seemed like, like you really are dedicated to helping the Canadian film I, industry. You know, that's. I, I, I just love Marwan how you know that. Marwan does his homework. Uh, Marwan does his that's homework. I have my moment, Simpo. Can we uh, record this moment right here, please? Yeah, yeah. Just remember yeah, this one? Yeah, let's... And I don't have many of them. Over, so let me appreciate this. Let me, let me, let me just enjoy this. Yes. There you go. Let's take a moment. But tell me. Tell me about this dedication that you, you have know, to making um, this a better industry for us. I made a choice uh, a long time ago, and it was, it was, it was weirdly torn. Um because I can remember all the directors telling me to go to LA. Okay. And right. I can remember I can remember the meetings we had with, you know, Disney and all this stuff way back like 2001 stuff like I'm much younger my age. You're still young. Man. Yeah, we're getting into car accidents and stuff on the highway and stuff, <laughs> all kind of madness, you know. <laughs> but you know, there was just something to the way I wanted to do it. Okay. And I I don't, I don't have some you know, giant breakdown mm. of why, and I probably just don't remember okay. too. Okay. Okay. But it's, it, it it just felt righteous. It felt really righteous. It felt it just it felt righteous, and I just okay. this running away thing, and I don't like the fact that just because. And remember, I said America's Rome. That Rome, yeah, you know, and and just but just understand that concept. You know, is fundamentally Rome was, in my opinion, fundamentally what Rome was was, you know, all the great minds right. of wherever you were from were invited to Rome to delineate with the other great minds of true. the world. You That's dig what I'm true. saying? That's very fundamentally, true. that what it was. So America, in my opinion, it very very much occupies this space. Mm-hmm. If you are the best at something. You dig? You the best at something. Take, go to the States. You know, all these athletes from Europe, from Africa, from all these other countries that come to the NBA, NFL, whatever, they're the best. They make it. They're that rare one. They're, the, they're mm-hmm. that great mind yeah. that goes to Rome to delineate and exchange with the other great mind. Right? So, so many people that told me that. And I understand it conceptually through this lens. Yeah. Right? So, in theory... Isn't that what I should do? Like, I should want, I, I, I see myself as a great mind. And so I'd be like, well, shouldn't I want it? But you never stayed there. You know, I, and then I go, I go, I don't like the fact that some American actor is always going to be the one that the project is brought to and all these Canadian actors have to work oh, under this American right. actor. Or for the Canadian actor to be cast as a number one, they would have had to have been in an American show cast out of yeah, L.A. Uh, and magically, this Seth gives Rogen? you some kind of credibility. Got it. I don't like that. Like, I really detest this. How do you change it? How do you change oh, it? Oh, wow. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> you know, I must be crazy. 
to even entertain fighting only, against them. Only the greats are crazy. You know, it must right. be crazy to even entertain fighting against Because if I were to think about it, that's not the thing that I wake up screaming to change, worried to change. Mm -hmm. But I know it needs to change. Okay. It's so weird. Like, if I thought about it, I'd go, <clears throat> what is the thing that I want to change? Mm. What do... I go, we need a star system here. It feels like we're so afraid to be great. That's big. And so those are the aspects of Rome that I like. That's big. Uh, the Rome that I like is Rome. Yeah. You yeah. did, right? Their chest is up. You know, it, Ben Hur. I love uh, Ben Hur with, you know, Judah talking to Ma Ma Masala. Mm -hmm. Is this a uh, 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 God? God? There is no God. There is only Caesar. Mm. Caesar is the only God. Big line. They believe some shit. You feel me? So yeah. the whole bunch I of Kanye dig, West is out in, that. in Rome back then. I dig that, right? So why are we afraid to be that? Why? But I'd have to go even further and Does say it mean we have to step on somebody? Like we don't have to be Roman legions sure. destroying, right? But that's it. The infrastructure, man. It's, it's, it's not built for just, us to do that. That's just not our thing. Yeah. Now, when you say the infrastructure, though, you know. do you mean, like, the investments that we have? See, that's the, the thing I almost don't know, too. I would yeah. want to know the same thing. I, I would, would say, know the same at, thing. from a musician's uh, standpoint, yes, jump in with this, as somebody who's toured Canada multiple times uh, and seen what the rest of the country has to offer, you know, I remember going on 13-day tours and having to drive for ever just to get to a town that would have enough people for us to play in you know what i'm saying and you know it's different in the states because you can drive for a few hours and there's a multitude so of people, many people. so true. many people so you can play in people. small bars all over the there's town so in any state and you can do the same amount that you'd have to do in a whole country in canada is this right? the singular reason the infrastructure it's <laughs> the hard infrastructure, to build it why it's hard to build it when you don't have 300 million people oh you're not why i don't think i'm so. sorry you I know what i'm saying so. like the UK but you see what has, I'm saying? but the United Kingdom, for example, they has do a well third of the population, mm -hmm. yep. and it has a, one of the biggest film industries. I was just gonna say Germany it has their film industry blowing just, up. France, like, even, France, France even. you know. You know, if there's anything I do understand, and that's a great point that you bring up, because the BBC, as an example, yeah, is is like I well, I really enjoy BBC shows. They got just great British shows. Shows. British shows writing in general are amazing. Is oh, come like on. crazy top tier writing. Like right. the writing is just. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, American shows copy a lot of British shows uh, and, and replicate them, right? Don't even get that twisted yeah. for one sec, right? That's I mean, they, that's that's too much. But that's a whole conversation for another day. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's a, another podcast. Because that'll dive podcast. into that'll get almost socio-political, you know, in the turn. But <laughs> but isn't like the UK but, the home but, of theater? But what like, I'm saying is, what I'm saying true. is, they sustain an industry just like he's talking about with a third of the population and. I think about the actors that thrive there, that sustain there, and that have come out of there. Mm. You know, and yes, the West End is is the standard for theater, in my opinion. Like we were talking earlier about performing, like performing is a thing that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. I've consciously like tried to be Olivier now. <laughs> like that, like I want to be Lawrence Olivier. Lawrence, yeah. Like that's how much I rate. His ability, yeah, you know, so that's a great example. Have of, you ever lost an addition to a British actor like hmm. all the Americans do? I've, <laughs> I've I'm, I'm trying to think about that honestly. Yo, you know what's man? But I'm trying to think about that honestly to go. Was it a British actor? Because it's mostly American actors. Yo, because when I found like, out my youth from um, Snowfall was British, yeah. I was like, God damn. You know, you know what? Hey, John Singleton, may he rest in peace. Yes, I, I. I, I don't know why I've never got an audition for Snowfall. And like You'd be great in that. And like when John was alive, I was wondering that. You have some experience. You're not British. Oh, four brothers. Yeah, man. I'm fortunate. And I auditioned for him like in person. Like we was like this close to each other. Like a, and I remember I did God an audition. God rest that man's soul, like, man. What he's rest. done for the industry, he for black like, people in, in the whole industry, may bro. He I have Who such, he put on. Bro, it's, I remember auditioning for him in person. He's like, I like this guy. I remember that he's yeah. just like I like this guy. I remember yeah. that he also yeah. he also gave me shit on set. I remember. Talk that. to me, man. Being Bro, Canadian? it's 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 it, it is it's actually something that <clears throat> that kind of bugged me for a bit. We were 
I don't know if you guys saw the movie Four Brothers. Oh, of course. So it's, it's, so it's a bit when I'm in the the warehouse yeah. when they pull up, Mark pouring the kerosene on <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah I and, felt bad for that. Right? Uh, it's, it's uh, tough. Well, it's, why do they got to do that? Really, it's bro? really tough. Uh, it's really tough. It was, just, it was just cold water. It was really tough. <laughs> Especially being in Kingston. Oh, God. that cold? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's where they shot it, eh? Ooh, it was mm. cold that day, mm. man. Okay. I was like, you guys have I want to get into water. all of that, man. Right? Yeah, yeah. So... It was it was my accent. Supposedly, like my accent cracked. You know, I would sound Canadian or something. Oh. All you hear John Singleton yelling at me from across the dam. Stop sounding Canadian. <laughs> and I'm like so oh, embarrassed, my man. Like oh like, my everybody's god. Everybody's there. I, what did you Tyrese, say? Tyrese. Tyrese. Oh shit. I don't. I think Three Stacks was there. No, Three Stacks was not there that day. Damn. I'm trying to think if Damn. Three Stacks was there that day. But Damn. just, like, think about that, how many motherfuckers were in that movie. And it's uh, and Tyrese there just being Tyrese. Garrett, Garrett Headland, quiet as hell, big old star now. Yeah, yeah. Mark, coolest shit ever. Just coolest ass motherfucker. I love that dude. He got but, roots in Toronto, though, don't he? Like, bro, he got... Rasta Phil. Right, Rasta, Rasta Phil. Phil. Big big up Rasta that's Phil. big fam right yeah, there. That's exactly. Big, big, big fam that's right, right there. That's, that's big right. Fam. I work with Donnie, too. So I yeah. work with both brothers. It's actually a trip. Remember his um his son or nephew yeah. did the concert with us at Opera House. I actually, oh, I, I think Lucius. I know who the youth that's is. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think that's I know right. who the youth is, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's rapping now, man. Ooh. We got to do some work. Bro, it's people just, forget about Marky Mark. Yeah, yeah yo, people come forget on, about bro. that. I yeah. rate on, that first Bust record, the move, bro. Come I on. rate those first couple of records. Come on, I'm man. not even gonna front. I rate those like those beats were. Yeah, me was, going. Yeah, me going. It was what it was. Yeah, yeah. It was what it was. <laughs> it, the joke is he he's like he just like so like supposedly he's just like nope nope I never did that yeah or something else. Supposedly I just, rate like, avoid. I would say is it fear the movie that he did? Uh, yes. Fear. Yes. <sighs> Him at the at the peephole saying, wait, how, "Open, now, let me in the house." How much of a stretch from was that, that role that. for him? Right, though, he was Marky Mark. Yeah, but you true. see what I'm saying? So true. you you almost fit in an true. image, so to speak. Just kind of, it's just being angry. Now, now when when he becomes an actor, right? For me, it, it's it's the taking the rock star chances because you're taking it. You, listen. Uh, you guys watch movies. Everybody watch movies. Mm -hmm. But you're taking a chance when you do a movie like that, rock star stuff. Cause you would it, would it be? Uh, is you know? it one of the impressions where it's like, are you gonna just re be remembered for that? Exactly. Is or everybody's just gonna being, think of you with that just character? Just for being a uh, uh, Dirk Diggler. Yeah. Right, right, right. 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 So yeah. pigeonholed, man. So yeah. so then he's going, okay, let me jump. Right. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I I can see courage. that. And so that's that's where that that rock star movie like did I even say is that even the name of the movie Rockstar yeah Rockstar yeah 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 that I, I love that I, movie I, man. I rate I rate the jump yes I rate the jump yeah the understanding I gotta try this as a musician though like you know? I rated that. Him in mm. that movie and that story to show, like, you know, trying to make it in the biz, what happens when you make it in the biz, yeah, I got what you. happens yeah. to your family, you. your girlfriend, everybody yeah. around you, <laughs> the success and the failures, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and how you can bounce back from that, you know, or if you even can. You know, it's it's the rackets, man. Our, yeah. We have some tough rackets, both of us. But <laughs> it's it's amazing yes, we are, man. how much the enjoyment of the... The stuff sustained. You know what I get from you, man? Like, you, you know. have a, you said this, you have a passion for what you do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you love what you I do. It, you man. know the history of it. Mm -hmm. You love working with people yeah. in it. And I see that in almost yeah. every scene that you do, bro. Thank like, you, you shoot Thank you. emotion like Ryu shoots Hadouken, bro. Thank like, you, bro. it's like you put Thank everything you, into That's that you, stuff, bro. man. Like, Thank I remember, you. I think my first mm -hmm. introduction to you, but now that I, Probably second or third. Now that I know you were afraid of the dark and goosebumps and, and all of that stuff. Two club days. We that's to, right. We that's ran right. Into each other a few times. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And then I saw I you. That. I remember that. That's right. And then I saw you in uh, Saw Three. Wow. Yeah, man. And then I saw you in yeah, Saw, saw Three. Saw wow. too, yeah. And I saw it. And I wow. said, this guy. He's hurting my heart right was now, bro. Was it the bro. scene where he was... Uh, yeah, were, like, the oh, emotion you put yeah. in the rack, yeah. yeah. The emotions yeah, But isn't that face. like that Da Vinci stencil? Yeah. It is, right. it is, yeah. That's right. Like that Da 
then she stands yeah. up. That's how I always describe it to people. Yes, as that. yes. And it's just like the, the you, twisting of that's every That's right, limb. and you hold up like that. Every that's a limb. lot, eh? Yeah, that's man. That's a lot. That's how do you get in that mindset in that scene? Because you, you, you showed a lot of emotion. You know the trip? You know the trip? That I was, loved it. That was one of the least arduous mm. sets I've really? ever been on. Shoots I've ever done. <sighs> you never know. Being in the machine, doing the stuff. Minimally arduous, man. Why is mm. that? Bro, that was a that was a fun day it's Hollywood. for me. Mm. But it's but that's the fun. That's the pretending. Yeah. We're pretending I'm I'm a kid again. I can right. I'm, I'm 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 15 again. Only caring about that. I'm it's, watching it's that, space, thinking you know? that it's you joyful. are just picturing every traumatic experience that you've ever had in your life but to get enough energy to true. do that but scene. That's the audition. I can remember doing the audition, and I walk into the audition, and it was written for like a 50 year old white guy. Okay, mm. seriously, mm. and it was gonna be like two old white guys in a row that. in the movie, and yeah. I'm like. You guys are bringing it, and it wasn't even like some open ethnicity shit. Right. Okay. I know the casting director, right. and she literally calls me. She goes, "Come in and audition for this thing," and I'm like, "Okay," and I and I rate her too, like, you know, Stephanie Gorin. Her name is Stephanie Gorin. I rate her. Shout She's out always, to Stephanie. Shout out Stephanie. She's always one of the casting directors that always treated me well. Mm. You know, shout out. Not a knows. producer. Not a producer. Not a producer. <laughs> <laughs> now, she, to be fair, she got a, you know, she uh, at the time. It? You know, you them with a, a brother. Okay. So okay. Feel like you get a pass. You get a pass. Extra love. Yeah. Points. By association. You, you get extra love. <laughs> you know, I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. You get the auditions and the stuff. So, so I go into the audition and and so I I look I I know kind of what's going on. Yeah. And Darren, the director, he looks at me. He goes, "Do your best to." Show me what you got. If you were in this situation, and so they just break down the scene and like I don't, hey, it, do I don't even do. think he he did it all did like that. Script he's, no? He just went. He's like, just do your best to show me what it would look like if you were in this yeah. situation. Like, and I'm sure you've seen the Saw movies at this time. He's saying it's less about the dialogue, basically. Right. It's what I can the, interpret. It's more about and the it's emotions. more about this evoking. Like what? What would it look like right. if you were in this spot? Mm. If you were, if you randomly you got stuck in this machine, got it. What would it look like? And so I kind of, I'm loco. You know, right. we could uh, figure out some stuff. Yes. We could, you know, I've seen one or two saw movies. I could, you know, and I remember just kind of just doing that. And I remember him <laughs> calling me a couple Blew of days me away, later, man. And it just like come do this thing, and. Everybody thinks it was so tough. <laughs> bro, like, you're bro, tears no, no, but but what everything. I mean but what I mean is I watched the movie. I can't watch the rest of the movie. Wow. Right? I could watch my shit. Yeah. Why? Because it's, I I was there. Yeah, right, right. I did I kept they I, we cast my leg like this whole fucking in, this entire bottom half from like the knee down. Mm. They cast my leg. Mm -hmm. So what we do is they put this kind of like knee slab so I can rest my leg from the knee and the shin in this flat kind of parallel, right? And then you put in the casted leg, and what it does is it fits in the machine perfectly like it's my leg, and it looks like it's my leg, and my knee set in the, in the fucking slit is perfect. And so the bone is set to pop out, uh, and it's reusable, oh and we can God. pop it right back in, and we didn't get reusing oh, a bit. Oh, snap. So that, it's like... It's, it's like this weird kind of fun, yeah. kind of jokey yeah. yeah. kind of yeah. thing for me, doing yeah. it right. Like, I did all this shit. I had to get my head cast as, like, so they put the back of my head on the front of my face ah. to just to do the last little moments oh, yeah. of my head turning. So we're faking a lot of shit that oh. you're thinking is, like, some... My head spinning all the way around on some shit. That's so you're man. behind the Iron That's Curtain. Man. You see what I'm so saying? So it's hard to I like watch that. that. I like how you said that. Right? It's the prestige. Yeah. It's the prestige. <laughs> Thank you. I we got Oscar love Dictionary over I'm there. a film guy, man. I'm with I you, I love dog. how you said that. Yeah. And so there's me kind of like just, it's it was a joyful experience Yeah. doing that movie right. for me. I love that. And you came it back really for is. another, right? Really, yeah. right? You came back for Saw 4, didn't you? No, for 6. 6. Oh, 6. Now, now watching the rest of the movie is a trip, bro. The first scene, Donnie has to make the choice 
or whether to saw his ankle or bust that shit with a rock. Right. The way I couldn't watch this shit. Right, bro. right. I'm like, I, I remember I took this, like, fly shorty to the premiere. Mm. Toronto, is that, like, varsity? Okay. It's, it's when we're still doing cool shit like that. Okay. So, remember, I took the shorty, feeling all fly. Mm. Got the fly ass shorty. Look at me, all like this with the first part, with the, with the Donnie part, this and stuff. She's just like, wow, this is so great. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, she's like, are you okay? <laughs> so, so, uh, and me, oh, <laughs> mommy, you know, it was rough. Yo, hold on, hold on, I can't hold watch on. That, the rest of the That's stuff. something I actually wanted to talk about, too, because as an actor, um, I don't want to get too much in your business, yeah, but relationship-wise, like, how does that work, yo? You know, like... Have you? Does it? Is it a ter- deterrent? Is yes. it? Has you had women that uplift you, helped you get auditions, whatever, I, whatever? Like you I, just playing I the think, game. I think, I think a a, a good woman mm-hmm. will mm. uplift you okay. in whatever you do. Oh, yeah. Right. I think a good anybody partner, however you live, mm-hmm. a good partner will lift you up in whatever you do. I really believe that. You know that that good partner will recognize. You know, your dream, mm-hmm. and support it a certain way. It's like, okay, you really want to do this. Mm-hmm. This is what the thing you want to do. You want to, okay, let's do this. We're gonna approach it like this. We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna put all our our eggs into it. We're gonna we're gonna attack this thing for, for real. all the ladies out there listening. You know, right? oh, yes. wow. looking it's for a man. Just know um, he's in the hey, you know. <laughs> she's in the, she's in the entertainment industry. Just wow. you know, this is what we need you right know, here. You know, um, I, I I haven't been too too many relationships, guy. That's not um, right. I, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm against a relationship at all, but I don't think I found the right person. I'm very. I'm at the point where I enough. think it's impossible. At I this point. I said to my my <laughs> my friend the other day, asked to starting my to mom, give up. Hope. I said to my mother the other day. I said to my mom. I said, I think I might be single for the rest of my life. Okay. Now, why is that, though? <clears throat> Are they, the, do the ladies never get to I, really know who Umpo is? I don't want toxicity. Okay. I don't ever want to try to change somebody. Mm. Okay. I don't ever want that kind of negativity around me. Mm-hmm. I, the right person will love you, support you through your failure, Lift you, man. As much as they support you through the ups. 100%. And your successes. Agree. You did. I remember reading that from Spielberg, of all people. The guy that actually literally was the reason my character never died on Fallen Skies. Damn. Save like, your it's life. such Steven a trip. Spielberg, that is. Steven yeah. It's Spielberg. such a trip. Name job, just if y'all it's don't such know. A trip. By the way, some guy. Like, he, I don't he, know. Is it, like he adopted, like a, I think, like a couple of black kids, actually. But like I can remember, like oh, shit. one specifically no adopted a black son, mm-hmm. and so I can understand the connection. And so I was always, you know, on edge, wondering when Anthony was gonna go on Fallen Skies. And then <laughs> Noah and I, we talk at the end of it, and you've been killed a lot, bro. But Noah and I, Noah, they, they be killing you. But dog. Noah, why? I've died a lot of stuff, right? You right? <laughs> a lot of cats. Like, but I've died. I'm, I'm so I've happy died you said certain that. ways. Yeah, like, they ways. Be every way, bro. Every way, bro. Listen, we got. <laughs> listen, we got the porter. We got the porter coming. Mm. So you guys know about the Porter? No. CBC show that we got. That. Oh, yeah, RT, yeah, yeah. RT, yes. RT, yes. RT, you know Yo. RT. Oh, what? Yo, on, RT, dog. bro. Charles Could... Officer. Charles Officer's in that right? too? Yes. Those are the producers of the show. Oh, Charles. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, directors. Those are the two directors. Yes. First four, second Charles, four. Charles, yes. Eight episodes. Oh so Charles God. and RT directed me. Um, Arnold Pinnock, creator. Okay. Marsha Green, writer. Y'all like, don't know, RT, RT directed my first music video, man, so. But it's about the black train porters of the 1920s. Yes. And it's like the most money CBC's ever put into a black show. Amazing. And so, like. Amazing. There's a whole lot of that. They are, they are got, advertising like, that hard. Like, like I, 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 I always hate, like, ruining stuff, you know? Ruin but I'm in, I'm in, like, the first four episodes of the show, okay? I hate ruining stuff. I'm in right. the first four episodes of the show. Go ahead, go ahead. The way I go in this one mm. adds to the beauty. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, as to what? The beauty. No, no, no. How did you say it? The beauty. Okay, okay, okay. Just to get uh, of my deaf assortment. <laughs> my assortment. Yeah, I would love to death. see just Is a YouTube. Is it one of your favorite? 
<sighs> ways to go in your career? Can we get like clips of them all together? Like yeah, just, just a like, compilation. A compilation you know, of that might put be in a your TikTok, man. Thing, <laughs> eh? You know, well, first of all, I'm probably gonna get yelled at for spoiler. For spoiling when is it coming you, out? Bro. When is we it love you, man. 21st Charles. February. Okay, okay. 21st okay. February. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna get yelled at for having just spoiled the shit like that, but I there's other stuff to worry about in this life. <laughs> um, but the way specifically, like you gonna love this. Oh, I love okay. it. Man. Gonna, I already okay. do. I already you do. Are going to love this. I'm I'm like, so glad that bro, they're doing that. I'm like, I haven't been this slimy in something in a while. Mm. Okay. I haven't been this slimy in something in a while. Okay. Talk to me about um your watch list, man. Like I I I, I just I would like watch list. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, what do you want, bro? What do you want, man? T- name stuff that you're on and name stuff that you're watching. Okay, watching is TCM for me. So right. Unless, All day. unless you guys All day. are where I'm at, like I'm gonna sound like a nut. Bag. No, I want stuff that people can you that know, you can uh, give you know. to the people. You know, like maybe well, Amazon wa- okay, or well, Netflix. Well, or, okay. Well, I, I guess to go about me. Add to your watch it, list. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Come on, man. You're too humble, dog. You know, You're too uh, humble, man. Give it to Night me. Night Hunter. Night Hunter was on Netflix recently. <laughs> um, that's the Cavill joint. Henry um, Cavill, aka Superman. Ben that's and, that is a name drop. Yeah. Yep. Stanley Tucci. Stanley Tucci. And, I watched that, my bro. My friend Alexander Daddario. Alex can I Smith can I say something before you go any further? Yeah, man. Um, that scene. The baby. With the baby. Yeah, yeah man. That's another yeah. scene that reminds love Saw Three when I say this guy yeah. shoots out emotion like yeah, Hadoukens. Man. Mm. Yeah, man. I felt that. Yeah, you know I mean, great, great Thank job you. in that. Yeah, you know, if you haven't seen Night Hunter, please go out and, and check know, that. It, it's on it's Netflix. A, it's a trip because I don't, I don't have kids, mm-hmm. and I can remember doing. It's good acting, that. right there. Thank you, man. <laughs> and I can just remember doing that, and and I think when when I tell you earlier, I'm like I'm trying to be Olivier, like every time. I'm acting now. I'm like, I'm trying to be that good. Mm. You know, like, just like, try to be Olivia. Is you that got like it. the top of I your... don't want to be Brando. Okay. Because if, you, if you're Brando, you're going to be late. Mm. You're going to make you show up when you want. Right. Oh, okay. Right? You, you're not going to learn your lines. Reputation. You're not going to learn your lines. Mm. You're never going to learn your lines, yeah. ever, because you don't have to. You're Brando. Brando. But you probably will act better than everybody that's ever touched anything ever in the history of life, like in everything. So it's like, the but like, I still don't want to be Brando, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing, because then I'm going to get get all that, you know, that bad moniker that Kevin Costner told me to stay away from. Mm. You, you, it's just going to follow you. I never knew he had that reputation. Brando was, was like, yeah. Brando was a G, though, in so many ways. Like, let me not just sit here like I'm putting down Brando as some disrespect. Have to respect him. He earned Brando that, Brando was though. a G. Yo, Brando he marched, earned that. Brando marched with Dr. King and Selma. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I did not know that. One thing about DDHD with, with podcast. Fonda. With Jane Fonda as well. You're going to learn With Jane something. Fonda as well. <laughs> Real speak. You're Jane Fonda, uh, Brando, March with Dr. King. So I, I fuck with Brando, okay? Like, don't even twist that. Like, Brando could be the best ever. Okay. Okay. That's just, that's okay. a thing. But why would you, why But Olivia you're not going to, he never learned his lines. Okay. <laughs> okay? You never okay. heard stories about nah, Brando? No, nah, no, this bro, is my first time. Bro, behind the scenes, fucking, if, if you get behind the scenes of The Godfather, mm. you just get behind the scenes stills. You'll see, like, young Robert Duvall. Right. Young, J- young Robert Duvall had Bristol board tied to his body with Brando dialogue on it for his close-up. Wow. Young, young Jane Con holding fucking cardboard, br- fucking Bristol board like that with, with Brando dialogue on it wow. for all his close up. Wow. <laughs> I'm going Reed. to make you an Chris, offer. Christopher Reed tells you can't stories about. Riff. What is that? It's refuse? refuse. Uh, they tell the stories about, Mr. Brando. about Brando on Superman. Talking right. about as he's walking, they write all his dialogue on the, on the wall oh my God. as he's walking. Never oh. learning line. But somebody tell me Brando's not like the greatest. That's the thing. They'll remember that though. Because they you got the you Godfather. got Robert Duvall, you know, all this Bristol board yeah, on it. Yeah, but yeah. then like he wins the best actor exactly. Oscar for that. Exactly. And I don't rate the Oscars. But mm. somebody argued that that performance wasn't was it? what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Like this guy's somewhere else. That was yeah. Good. You know? Yeah. This guy's somewhere else. Like he exists to not learn your lines. And then to do that is psycho. Yeah. Whereas Olivier, and it's also disrespectful to actors. 
to your fellow actors to not learn your lines. Mm. It's disrespectful, man. Yeah. But like it's Olivier, the time you think like, exactly yeah, yeah. because people that come prepared, they're ready to go. Man, listen, yeah. man, I get it. I was saying it's it's fun and it, I pretend and. You know, I love performing and the shit, but it's a fucking job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, are you fucking time serious? Into it. Like these, there's a lot of money, seriously. like on the line yeah. when we on set. Yeah, because it's not just about you; it's about exactly. hundred people on set, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. so weird. It's so much not just about me. Yeah. And the way to under, and I don't think that was something that Brando really kind of rocked with. Mm. Brando, you know. Okay, so we got yeah. Night Hunter. Olivier, but but Olivier is what okay. drives me in a scene like that. Because I'm going, okay, I don't want to overact. Mm. Okay. I go, I want to make sure I'm prepared. I want to make sure I know all my stuff. Yeah. I want to make sure we do this right. The right way. And so there's the Olivier influence. It's the professionalism, you know, is it, learning all my stuff, being ready to where when I go into something like that, you know, and I think... I, I, I believe I'll do well because of that prep. You know, there's stuff I'll just wing. Mm-hmm. I'll wing stuff. I wing a lot of stuff. I love Robin Williams. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Jim Carrey. King. Hell yeah. Those two could be two of the most underrated actors in my opinion. Lord Goats. Robin Williams they and Goodwill Hunting most, at the Prime They could be two of the most underrated actors in my opinion. 100%. Just haven't shown you the drama yeah. along with their comedic abilities. Yeah, man. And the way they can wield these abilities. Yeah, Jim Carrey and Charles But Sunshine, the way they can like, wield these Well, Man on the Moon. Man yeah, on the Moon. Keep going. Uh, so many. Truman so many, Show. Keep the way going. they can wield, wield these abilities. Right. So I'm in that moment there and I'm like, okay. I can sense the moment often. And I'm very thankful for this. I feel like I can sense when I have an opportunity to really showcase something. I go, I got a spot here to make this either extremely memorable or I can I can have an Olivier moment mm-hmm. kind yeah. of thing. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's it's not wanting to overact kind of thing. And I watched Olivier's Hamlet recently. And this mm. is like his, you know, he On like- Turner Classic like, Movies? Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> he directed this. I think, I'm not sure if, I think he might've won an Oscar for that, mm-hmm. but he directed this. Like he directed the Hamlet that he starred in. Mm. Oh. So this is like Braveheart this is with Mel's doing Kevin Costner, you know, Dancing yeah. with Wool yeah. before any of these guys yeah, ever did. Yeah. So that's, mm. you know, that's the guy that all these guys is getting that stuff from. Yeah. You know? yeah. And so I'm just trying to channel that. And I'm like, okay, just don't, I just, I'm, I'm trying not to overdo it, but I want to evoke as much as I can because I know I'm going to resonate. Mm-hmm. with a lot of parents in that situation. I know a lot of parents, I don't think they're going to be critical of my performance, mm. but if I nail it, you really going to rip everybody's guts out. Yeah, that's, okay. that's, yeah. I'm trying to rip your I guts out. I see that, out. I see that. I'm trying to you rip your it. guts out. You see it. You feel <laughs> me? A lot I'm of trying, the scenes that you do. Guts out. Yeah, Even man. if they're why, why am I there? Right. If I'm not trying to do this. 110%. You get it? Like, I want, I want it to come off like it like it should yeah i want you to watch it and i want you to think fuck that it would that they would look like if i was having the conversation yeah you did if you were in that situation and your son god forbid would that ever happen and then the moment when you realize you're talking about you, night hunter yeah yeah and you never thought you were gonna get your kid back right how would that be and then the moment you do, you realize, holy shit, the kid's not dead. You thought the kid, I thought the kid was dead. Whoa, and, whoa, whoa, man. People they still got to see this, man. Uh, Stop. Uh, Stop. Grown, grown people still got to watch Dwayne's movies. Gonna I don't that? ruin Dwayne, Dwayne, okay, if you, that. If you've grown, you grown, I won't ruin nothing yeah. for you, man. You still got to watch it to watch it. Okay. But if you, if you think and then you realize, how would you react? Yeah. And so I'll ask myself that question and, in the moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hold and on, it, hold on. I want I want I want you to give me I'm just like the king of spoilers today. <laughs> yeah, before you I spoil like, anything I never, else. I'm usually not that guy. <laughs> like why wow. worse than Tom Holland, <laughs> man. Like what's you know, going on? You know the joke I think that kid yeah probably he put something in the rum. Yeah, sure. why maybe it's just the yeah. rum. <laughs> 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 it's just, maybe it's just the rum. It's the juice in there. Right. It's the juice. But I'm like but but that that kid, I think Tom Holland, bless his heart. I think that's just an excited young man, you know. Wouldn't I, I'm you not be? even mad at him. Wouldn't you be? For that. Now, Marvel was probably like, you little. Motherf- 
Fucking yeah. <laughs> Feige, yeah. Kevin uh, Feige was, mm-hmm. was, was ready. Yeah. To we just can't wait. fire him now. But that's just a, I just saw just a joyful God bless kid you, Dwayne. God bless in that you. moment. Yeah, oh, I just sure. saw a joyful kid. Yeah. I don't even think that's a mistake. So yeah. for all the you joyful know? kids out there so, so trying to be actors. I, I made a mistake, guys. Trying Did to be really actors. Know? It's I okay. Really hear me, hear me, hear me. Trying to be actors out there or trying to pursue their dreams or trying to do whatever it is they're trying to do wherever they're at. Yeah. Give me some advice for those those downtimes. We didn't get too much into the downtimes, yeah. man. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm happy to. I'm, I'm actually happy yeah. to. But we don't have to get into it too much. But I'm like, happy to, man. There's, okay. There's, there's I had synergy. one question we, for we you. Can't, for sure. We can't. Not everything is is this up, uh, this upward, you know, lift. Mm-hmm. Like it's the ascension mm-hmm. is not always it's not easy, man. The thing. It's it's yeah. So I, I don't mind talking. Before about uh, before we get to juices question which is uh, i would love an answer after this question i want to know more about you i want to know that moment in your career or in your life where you thought this is over where you thought that that dream had a deadline and what did you do or what happened that changed everything for you to keep pursuing and Hmm. doing what you're doing right now Hmm. well the first thing i say is just being fortunate to be able to talk about something like this because I don't I couldn't tell you I've had a conversation like this publicly this publicly twice you dig so so I, I find a lot of stock in being able to have this conversation and people being able to hear that if anybody listens to I mean care, that's what the know, dreams don't have yeah, deadlines podcast is for to have you here brother but, we want to learn you know I think when you're younger, it happens a lot. I think when you're younger, before you're really able to build yourself, understand who you are as a person, as a whether man, woman, whatever it is, I think I think being by oneself allows oneself to to really develop. You know, to really understand what you can handle, who you can, who you want to be around, what you'll accept, mm. et cetera, what you'll pursue, hmm. when to stop. You dig? It's being younger. I, I, I probably thought it was the end of the world every day. Really? Be, because... Was a rejection. It, it, it's I don't I don't know the rejection thing can can definitely manifest into something else. Mm. If you're not aware of how to really face it, deal with it, attack it, uh, converse about it, you did because you have to converse about these things. It's it's it, 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 it the rejection happens so often that if you don't converse about it, you'll become used to it. You dig so now when you now when you book something, you 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 are gonna negotiate for something. Now now you're afraid to talk to the producer or something. You're afraid to stand there. I I I should mm. because he's been saying no for so long. Shoot, I'm, I, I'm just gonna stay where I'm at because I'm just happy to get, get this. Get a yes I'm for just the happy ones. Happy to get a yes mm. at the 85 percent mm. no's. So you see the psychology of the stuff. Yeah, it becomes some thing. So so if you with the wrong person. You got the wrong person in your life. Mm. They're not telling you this shit. Mm. You Kanye with fucking Kim Kardashian? Mm. She's not telling you this shit. You give her 2% a Yeezy, but you're not getting this shit. Yeah, I I went there. I did. did. That's relevant. But you dig what I'm saying. And my mother was the support system that allowed me to handle all this stuff, that allowed me to be able to face all of this stuff. Yeah. All this rejection, all this. Yeah. Is this support ever going to happen? System. Support system. Support system. Mm-hmm. Support system allowed mm-hmm. me to back off of, when is this going to happen, man? Mm. Like, when is this going to happen? And, and, and I want to be clear about this, because I'm sure a lot of actors think every day, when, man, when's my break? I don't say this often either. It, it's the lens that I'm thinking through is somebody with utmost belief and ability. Like, I'm not talking about I think I'm the best, but it's like just a way to cultivate the ability 
not just watching one person, mm -hmm. not just watching my favorite actor, mm -hmm. not just watching my favorite, watching actors that I don't even really watch often that I wouldn't watch, that I wouldn't go out of my way to watch after, but I catch, I notice the good when I see it. Soak it up. So paying attention. Yeah. Right? Paying Turn attention. the negative into a positive. Even mm -hmm. the, the actor that I don't rate, Absolutely. I won't tell you it's good, but I see where they're not, and then I see what I don't want to do. Mm. You dig? Mm -hmm. Immediately. So the amount of learning you try to do with them to combat all this negative energy mm. of this, en this industry not recognizing you when you believe it should. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's fighting against that. So that's a lot of probably... The, the everyday but what, what if the what if you're not you don't have that support system what if yeah. you're getting no you I, got I'm, 85 I'm, no's I'm gonna put you really want to do gonna, this I'm gonna give myself some some damn credit right now as mm -hmm. well and I don't do that often like that I'm should. not always blessed I'm gonna give myself some credit give yourself and, some and, talk and, that man. talk man and, and, and credit that myself, talk but credit myself for enduring this mm. the perseverance in it of, of the industry because the industry doesn't reward the game the game not gonna give you what you feel like you deserve from it yeah you dig so you got to find that shit somewhere else the art gives you that right you you dig some stupid at machine mm. calling me telling me i'm gonna get a million dollar movie now mm. that i don't i don't feel like everything better now after mm. that mm. you dig because now if you're trying to control what project you want me to be in? Yeah. You try you try Robert Pattinson my shit or and that boy said, fuck you, I'm gonna go do the lighthouse. Mm. Right? Yeah. And so everybody it, it, I love his choices. Yeah. You come off Twilight, aren't you just supposed to do, do Twilight TV movies? Pop for the rest of your life? You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. He's like, nah, bro. No, I'm doing this. That's not, I'm doing the lighthouse, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so it, so I could say Take yes to the million, yeah. but then you, you stupid ass fucking studio gonna try to control me to yeah. I only gotta do this. The way I'm gonna slap the studio. And now you playing Batman. Like, you see what I'm saying? On, bro. The way I'm Incredible. going to slap the studio. This is why I fuck with Brando. Okay. Well, all the way back, back to Brando. Would never let nobody tell him no shit. <laughs> Brando would never let no studio. Are you dumb? <laughs> are you dumb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you dumb? Yeah. I'm not, are you dumb? I think what you're Go trying to go watch the shit. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? The so, conviction. The yeah, conviction. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that's so yeah. important, bro. Like yeah. in this game, you know man, to stand on your ten toes, bro, and, and believe that shit, even when nobody else does. If I go to L.A., I don't know if I'm this guy now. Mm. Because I'm telling you, I would have got caught up. Mm. Is that why you came back to Toronto? It wasn't even a come back to Toronto thing. I just stayed. Okay. I think that's probably the better way to put it. I just stayed okay. because yeah. I, I was I was probably on the, the edge there going to L.A. and I've probably always been on that edge now, especially recently. To be fair, like especially recently, L.A.'s been dominant in my in my psyche. Yes. Yeah. Feeling, because think about it, you coming off some stuff like I did. You know, especially having Night Hunter floating around now and Dirt Gently yeah, and all this on. stuff. Anybody in my spot, if there was a kid, if there was an actor in my spot that wasn't going to L.A. having all that kind of stuff, the way I would talk to that actor, the way I would talk to that kid, like, are you dumb? Go to mm. fucking L.A. Yeah. And what I do now is I send messages to, to actors. Well, first of all, I try to keep abreast with every black actor hmm. in, in, in the country. Specifically, the country. Y'all need uh, don't really, be like I, I don't really, be like Toronto rappers I and really hate everybody. Y'all need to keep it together, work really together. To keep Unity, man. Yeah, black so actors important. In the yeah, country. and and it's and I send messages to, you know, all these cats, you know, Adrian Walters, uh, somebody that I I, I very much see taking the next step mm -hmm. if he were to go to a Los Angeles. Got so, it. That's a, a young man. I okay, have, I look have out. We looking great, out. Great, yeah. great we looking belief, out. Great belief in. We looking out. Uh, and I sent him a message recently. I was just, and I remember just looking at his picture. I was just looking at. He posted something. He's in the Porter mm. as well. Okay, dope. And he posted a picture uh, from him behind the scenes in the Porter. I'm looking at this picture. I'm like, man, that's a strong brother. Yes. Yeah. All right. Like Adrian that. Porter. We looking out, Adrian, man. Adrian Walters. Uh, sorry, Adrian Walters, Adrian Walters okay, from brother. the Porter. Okay. From the Porter. Yeah. And, Adrian Walters. And just the, the 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 melanin on this brother, man. Yes, sir. The, the, just the strength of, you know, and I'm looking at this brother. I'm like, this brother go to L.A., man. 
it would just be a wrap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. said it just like that. And so I sent him a message. I said, go. Go. I they said, need to hear I said, that, man. I said, go. That's good that you're championing said, a lot of other don't, people. Don't, you don't, listen. I said, I know what I'm fighting for here. I know what I'm doing here, but yeah. go, go before you may regret not going. Right. You dig? I don't want any of these kids to be in that spot where they're, where there's, we're so at war with ourselves. Mm. And, and I say that, you know, hearing, hearing Nip, Nipsey talk about this the other day. And God Nipsey, bless. And may he rest. God Nipsey bless. Talk about, you know, he said, you rather be, he said, I read something. He said, you'd rather be at war with yourself mm. or at peace with the world. 100%. Aye. Aye. Or I remember that quote. At war with the world or at peace, at peace with yourself. With yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. And that's a big I was big outside statement. the other day, and that's when it really clicked for me. Right? It, it's, I'd rather be at war with myself. Mm. I can't control this damn world. Mm. Like, you serious? The amount of stuff I'm going to react to every day, the amount of stuff I'm going to react to every day Yeah. that I'll see, and I caught myself reacting to something that I should not spend my damn energy on. You dig? And then I go, that's why I should be at war with myself. At peace. Yeah. And better myself mm-hmm. yeah. so I can walk out into the world. Hope y'all taking notes, man. You yeah. did? Mm-hmm. And then I could do bit so much better. You know what it sounds uh, you know? like? It sounds like you have a lot of belief in yourself. And it sounds like, back you to Juice's to. question, and that's, and that's the thing. is you have to believe that's in yourself. Thing. And you strike me as a guy that has a belief similar to ours where everything happens for a reason. I really do, brother. And you, I don't know about you, but when I, I might not understand the fucking reason. Most of the time, I don't understand the reason, mm-hmm. man. I don't even know half the shit. <laughs> but sometimes you realize it's like it's not for you to understand it right now. Yeah. But you know there is a reason, yeah. and once you find it out, maybe one year later, a day later, ten years later, it'll click. Yeah. And it, is that like how you live your life? A hundred percent, brother. Um, I'm I'm thankful for the way I see things because based on certain decisions I I sit back and I go I should be more angry based on the way things have went or right or or because I didn't you know or and then I and and I really catch myself now and I go I don't know if that matters Mm. I, 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 I don't want to blame myself yeah. or live in this place of regret because I didn't go to L.A. when, mm. when everybody was telling me to. You dig? Yep. And you got to fight that battle. Yep. You, gotta, you really have to face that Yeah. because we're human and we'll feel it. Man, yeah. should I have gone to L.A.? You could live there, man. Because, You're right. because now I start to think about tax brackets. <laughs> Yeah. Before you go into tax brackets, <laughs> you did, don't now, say that. Because man. I think about the seven because, screen tests oh my that God. I've done mm. that could have changed my life. life yeah. yeah, yeah. And like the last three, I remember signing one of the deals for one of the show and just seeing the M's. Mm. And then when they took it away, oh. when I think I, I don't remember if it was Fox that said no or something like that. Mm. And when they said no. One of the last screen tests, and, and I, I always like saying these things so people hear the stuff from somebody walking the stuff the walk. Mm-hmm. in the trenches. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You dig? Yeah. That's why you're here, One man. of the most recent screen tests that I did, um, I think it was the last one. Um, well, just for everybody to know, um, I don't talk about this often either. I screen tested for... Lucius Fox, Gotham. Wow. And it was myself and the gentleman that that's got a, the role. Wow. Um, that's something that I think about a lot. Okay. Um, it's a big show. I remember the producers were various, and, and, and this is no slight yeah. in any way to the right. brother that, that brilliantly right. played the role. It's, it's never my You would have bodied him. Um, <laughs> but saying. I remember the producers, the way they spoke to me and, the belief that they had in me. They're like, you're, you're our guy and all this yeah. stuff. And and then Fox is like, we're going to go older. 
Mm. And that and that that's part of the game. Yeah. You dig? I met. I'm not personal. too young. Yeah. yeah. For some day. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You were good, man. Like I wouldn't have screen tested if I wasn't. Yeah. Right. You, right. So you really gotta see the forest through the trees. Yeah. Right. And so, it, it, you, th- you think about that. The and what, that could have ch- how what that could have done for your career. It's very easy to think about the what yeah, could have, yeah. the what if. How do you not get tied like up? Like Marvel, yeah. right? How do you yeah. get not tied up? Right. And then so the most recent, that's not the most recent one, but the most recent one, um, it was a, it was a show called, show called Red Line. I know that show. Um, Noah Wiley did the show. Ava DuVernay, executive producer show. And the so boss. Yeah. When, when I'm when I'm doing I'm like Black Bruce Wayne, you mm. know, world greatest detective, mm. Mm. figuring it you out. You know, I'm like I can, you know, and I'm going okay. This is how we get to Black Panther two. If I if I book this, right? I book this. Get cool with Ava. Yeah. Right. Who knows where that could lead? Yeah. To me, I'm getting the Black Panther too. Yeah. That's where my head was at. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm yeah. I'm just I'm doing you know, <laughs> yeah. one million dollars. <laughs> yeah. You know, fucking yeah, Dr. Yeah, Evil yeah. and shit. Mm-hmm. And I was like, we're we're really close. Yeah. I was like, we're really close. Yeah, yeah. And then I remember signing that deal. That 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 and they're falling through. They're falling through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was. Uh, it's funny you, know you right man? now. I can see you it in your yeah, eyes, yeah, yeah. man. But I gotta tell. I gotta tell. I was gonna tell how it happened. So, so you hear it. Okay. It's, I'm in. I'm in the screen. I'm in the audition room. There. We're at fucking Warner. We're on the Warner lot. Okay. And one of the things I'm so thankful for is, and, and if you never been there you don't know and if you never dreamt it you don't know mm. you, you're a kid dreaming doing movies and mm-hmm. stuff and then you walk in the warner lot to go to a screen test for something that could change your life yeah all types of emotions that is must be a going through whole you. lot of shit nice. and then the security guard asking you where are you going for what and the thing and i'm trying try not to tell him my life story <laughs> <laughs> brother, you don't know how I got here. Right? Let me tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, let me just sign this and yeah, go yeah, yeah. into the elevator. Yeah. Right? All right. So we're in the testing room, and mm. it's me and one brother. And I remember right when I got there, you say hello, you greet the brother. That's what you do. You greet people, man. And then that's all I'm thinking about it. That's all I'm thinking about after that. And then you get really locked in after, kind of. You just get really locked in because you understand and sense the moment. You understand that life can change after this. Yeah. And and there's no other way to play. Yeah. You got to be alive. You're alive. Yeah. You know, breathe in the air. You know what I'm saying? If you climb an Everest, what you doing? You're not going to look around? Enjoy the moment. You dig? You're not going to look around? You climb an Everest? <laughs> That's a big moment. <laughs> you yeah. So it was it was it was that. It was is looking at all the posters in the Warner like shit like Man, imagining we, yourself on there. You, we, we, it's, it's, not, it's not even just imagining. We're that, close, that close to it. You're right. that close. So it's no more imagining. Yeah. We're we're here. It's almost a reality. I'm, you so, see what I'm, I'm saying? so glad. And that, and that was and and so, that boosts your audition. Mm-hmm. It boosts your audition. And yeah. so we did it. I did the audition. Yeah. Come out feeling great. I felt really good. And I remember I'm walking. What happened was, there's a work session first. So, so the, literally the producer and the writer, I, I'm going to have a work session with them, and they're doing this to assist me in my first screen test, uh-huh. which is for Warner TV. And, then, and that's on Monday. And then on Thursday, I'm going to s- screen test for Warner Movie Studios. Yeah. So it's going to be two. So I do the work session. Monday morning with the writer and one of the producers. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it felt like some good cop, bad cop shit right away. I remember that. Homegirl was like, the producer was like, oh my God. giving all these vibes, like, it's going to be beef if we were in the street. <laughs> it, like, it would have been straight up beef if we were in the street, me and this girl. Like, I would have held the door for her or something, but like, I might have like knocked over her salad or something. Yeah. Purposely. I had the script in my hand. I had the, si- the sides of the script that they give you, the six, seven pages, however long it is. Yeah. I had the sides in my hand. Remember, it's a work session, so it's not formal. 
yet. Yeah. So it's, certain things just shouldn't matter. The hater producer goes, why you, are, do you need the script? Do you need the sides? Do you need them? Why wouldn't Just you? like that. Yeah. Do you need them? As though it's a distraction for her. For her. These right? Damn producers. The writer, you. who's equally empowered, goes, and she goes, Psh. she goes, it's okay. She goes, it's early. Mm-hmm. She goes, I know there's some nervousness and it's, it's a big moment. She goes, I understand. She goes, it's okay. She goes, if you want to hold on to the script for now, she goes, it's not a problem. Nice. And the way she shut it down, Good. the way I felt better. Good. Okay. I'm so glad you stuck with this acting yeah, thing, right? Because sure. it sounds like there's so many moments where you could have been like, you it's know, crazy. Uh, it's so forget crazy. Forget this. Yeah. So, yeah. Do, so, but wait for it. I'm about to give you one of those moments. Yeah. So we okay. do the work session and we read through the scenes mm. with the casting director who actually cast me in black or white. Proper. She's actually, the homegirl works for the same casting office yeah. for black or white. So I remember seeing her. The joint like, you nice did with Kevin Costner. You. It's nice to see you again. Nice to finally meet in person. Yeah. And da, 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 da. And the, you were so great in black or white. Like, this is what I'm, this is the conversation I'm having in the work session. Mm. Or, or not even that, right before we walk in. Mm. So I walk out of the work session. Nice I boost. haven't even done the first screen test yet. I'm walking out of the work session, feeling great because the screen test is at like one. This was like 11, right? And the screen test is at one. So the work session was to prepare okay. me right. for my to first screen in. test at one. Got it. So I walk across the lot to get lunch in the building on the Warner lot, like just outside the Warner studio lot. Feeling like a million bucks. Security guard, yo, my man, how was it? I'm like, my man, it was good. <laughs> Feeling great. Yeah. I get the phone call before I even order the damn food. It's my manager. Okay. I could hear the inference in his voice right away. I go, boy, just tell me what it is, man. He goes, they think you're too young to play opposite the girl they've cast, and they're, didn't, they're not going to even let me walk into the damn screen test. Oh, shit. So they flew me to L.A. Shit. I signed the M.D. Like... The deal was wow. right there. Wow. Mm. And it didn't... I signed oh the deal. Oh, my God. That money changes a lot of stuff. With the casting director that... That you already With knew. the casting director that I know gate, from Black got White. It in the back. You think That's it's a it. done so deal. So imagine That's how a sad dunk. she was. Shit. Imagine how sad she was having yeah. to say that stuff to my yeah, manager. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And my manager talking to me like, my puppy just ran away. For real. Like It's a lot. It's, it's a million dollar puppy, man. It might And <laughs> you I've know never been more deflated. I can't recall being more deflated than that. I can't I can't recall Take me home now though, man. Like because I, I wanted to go home. Yeah. Fast. Bro, How do you get through that, that was I I, I that was a well of emotion. I can, yeah. I, 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 I can only imagine. That was a, a well of emotion that I could, that was really tough. As sad as that is, I'm loving this moment right that now. Was really because tough. this guy is still here, He's still here. killing them right still now. Good. That yeah. was so Where tough. other people would have folded up. Bro. So to wrap this up so, to our audience, like what happened, man? Like how you, you, you felt like at the lowest point right there because you, you had it in your hand. And what happened for you to be like, I'm you... still going to stick yeah. with this. I'm still going to persevere through this. I, I, think, I think at this point, the, the work that I do on myself mentally is probably the only reason why. Mental health, man? Uh, you know, and, and, I'm, and I even throw in, you know, Nipsey's really great influence on me. Like when he speaks, I listen. And it, it was, it, you know, it's. Can I get a Nipsey track? A recommendation? What would be your walkout track? Stuck in track? the grind. 
Ooh, stuck in the stuck grind. Stuck in the grind is a song I That's listen to. Is, is that is that the the Probably trailer every day? The trailer for your bio. Big tune. Probably every day. Wow. Mm. I listen okay. to stuck in the grind. Right. Stuck in the grind. Me in the eye, call me on my line. Hey. Stuck in the grind. Middle with a nice catching lights on. Roll me up a back, then I light the hey. stove. Yeah. High part hustle, speaking hyperball. Yeah, it's yeah. So what did Nipsey there? Because I just inf- feel stuck in that grind. Just like yeah. And how did he influence you? What what did in that moment? He said he. I remember it, it's 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 when it's. I love his music, but it's whenever yeah. he speaks. It's it's it's, it's his really interviews the, are I'm incredible. Very impressed by the man that he yeah. was. Wise man, that he was wise and, man. And it was, they're asking him what how you get how have you gotten to this point? What's the difference or something? He said, and I let me try to do a little press. He said probably the most resonant quality that like kept me. He said I didn't quit. That's the only difference between I remember you and that. the others. Huh? I said, I ain't quit. He said, I ain't quit. That's the only so thing. That's so true. And I'm That's watching. Like, I ain't special. I just didn't quit. And I'm watching that. Like, and I don't know if I'm like, if I summon the power of Grayskull in that moment. <laughs> it like, you know, he man, you know what I mean? But you find strength in places. And, nice. and I think also the working on myself from having been by myself mm. assists me greatly as well as the support system. Mm. Yeah. And you didn't quit. Because I'm, I, I can be immensely frustrated with this industry yeah. that I work in. But you're still here. And so you're still making. And you know what, what, what I love about right it, Empo, is that you're carving your own path. Thank you, brother. You're sticking to your roots. You're you, ensuring brother. that you, your mom's legacy, your, your, your family's legacy lives on. And, and you know what? You deserve your flowers, Thank man, you, because... Brother. Thank you're n- you're here. Thank you. You're still persevering. We're fans. We uh, love your work, and the fact that. that you're able to share these experiences, mm-hmm. man, and for this audience, you know, you you said it right there. The only difference between you and the next guy is that you won't quit. You won't quit. And I I want I don't even know why or how sometimes. You know what I mean? I don't know if you you get you get that resounding answer, a moment of clarity or what. But I just think. A lot of us are, are built differently than a lot of us, and no better, no worse. Mm-hmm. But some of us have the ability to endure a lot, you know. And yeah. <clears throat> you, I, I don't even know because life. No, life be. is gonna test you, bro. But it that's is, the no, thing. A matter and, of fact. and so many of us deal with life. Yeah, hundred percent. No matter every whatever no it matter, is that yep. we're chasing, yep. every day. No matter where you, you are, know, mm-hmm. and and some of us come out of it better than others do. But we're all fighting. We all trying to figure something out, yeah. get to something, and hopefully it's a place of peace and yeah. it's not enjoyment. Only that. And, you're inspiring and, others, man. Yeah, and, you're and, you're giving other people hope, and you're inspiring people within. Like you said, you keep in touch with the actors within this country, and you're probably giving them sound advice, and you're learning from them. And what what that does for us is that it keeps it paying forward. Mm. And I you're, like that you're a lot. breaking through the like barriers and the doors. Yeah, and like so that. you live in it. You know, it's it's I'm I don't remember there are many there are many that have carved and set the path before me that I, that I'm thankful for, you know. But I don't remember too many people like me in my life that I would There's have There's only one Empo, bro. To, to that would have spoken to me a certain way or or or, or given me the push that I w- would have asked for or hoped for. Stop right there. So, Stop right there. Yeah, yeah. I want you to look in that camera and talk to that person that never got to you know, talk to you, you man. Know, Speak to them and tell them know, why I, they I, need I, to keep I pursuing. I would very much want whomever to to reach out to my Insta. If, if whether, whether it's like an actor or any kind of artist, really on that cusp or line of not knowing what to do or where to go or why to continue pursuing the dream, the thing that you care so much about that drives you, and specifically artists, because I really resonate with that. And even if you're not an artist, if you're even a, you're a, a, a supporter of, 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 of what we do, yeah. but y- y- that's not even what you, but you're frustrated. You're trying to figure out your own stuff. It's, 
these are the conversations I enjoy you having. You just tell everybody out there to slide in your DMs these, if they need some help on the audition. I don't know if that's what it was. I think, I think that's what I, I heard. I don't know. I think that just happened. Oh, no. <laughs> like, I just offered fellatio. <laughs> so, Holla at me. So, any, okay, I'm going to stop did. right there. You know, the wildest uh, yeah. part is we, there, there was a lady once, Falling Skies Days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's a few years older and, and sent me pictures of, nice uh, nice beautiful pictures. certain nature with some tim bits in them included <laughs> twitter dm nice twitter even. and i like it uh, it was a lot it was a lot it nice, must have been man. fun well you got fans that must have been got fun fans, man but i think Shout out to that lady. Shout out to that yeah. lady. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. Oh, Kim, Kim. <laughs> Definitely side in Info's DM. And uh, I hope your dream don't have a deadline because he remembers. Because there's hope out there for him. There's hope out he there sing- for you, Are you Kim. single, Impo? Yeah, but oh. not. Impo is single. Was Ready to mingle. It's blocking foul. This is traveling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, um, but, yo. but don't pull up on me like that. Okay, this, okay. This, no, this, no, this, do I'm not pull up. My brother. But Empo, I, I, I want to... <laughs> Yo, you made this so great, yeah, man. Great Marwa, man. take us out, bro. Man, I want to thank you for coming, first bro, of all. I, I'm thank so you. happy to have been here, man. We I appreciate, appreciate you, it, man. You're welcome so anytime to the DDHT podcast hey, here. Hey, let's, let's get... Let's we get learned a work. lot. Hey, it's you know? 06... Hey, hey what is that? Shout Stolen out from SFA. Africa? Hey, SFA. You got nice in the building, too, so... Okay. Shout out the boys. Yes, please. Yo, what are your socials, uh, my socials, yeah, uh, oof, here, my uh, anywhere. My Insta is uh, Mpo Boy. So the influence of that is New Orleans and the Po Boy. Po Boy, hey, so, you're real New Orleans, man. So M P H O Boy, B O I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I'm yeah, I'm yeah. one of those people that answers, you know, replies, comments, uh, you know, DMs. I, I'm not. Expecting any nudes, but yeah, unless but if it comes your way, obviously, unless you answer everything, and you want an audition, that's not yeah. that, yeah. So, <laughs> but I think you, you're, <laughs> I think you, um, I think you're saying, you know, you're always engaging with the community, yeah. I think it's necessary, and um, you know, we want to thank you for breaking those barriers, opening you, those man. doors, thank you so much, not man. quitting, persevering, man. Man, don't and, quit, y'all, like it's. It's, yeah, I was even playing, I play this, um, you know, the synergy of life comes from so many places. It doesn't just come from the pursuit of a career or, you know, it, or, or, or life. Mm-hmm. If we find this synergy there you go. from. And there you go. So I was yeah, playing, that's the walkout song I was right playing, there. um, no, you gotta play Stuck on the Grind. Stuck on the Grind? That, that's all, that's grinding, grinding on, on my, my life. life. Grinding yeah. on my life. Grinding on my life. So, so I'm playing this, uh, I love Formula One. Yep. Watch it a lot, and I got this Hamilton fan. Uh, yeah, of course, big time. And I got this uh, game on my phone. Okay. And ah, it's not on here. I I I win a bunch of races, not quitting. Like I, I like I'll spin out. Yeah. In the race, I'm like fuck it. Then I look at the time. You won't and I'm restart. like Four seconds behind the 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 person I'm chasing, like the leader. And I'm like, I should literally just restart right now. You don't. But the amount of times I'm like. You go for it. I don't want to do that. And the way I, like, win, and those yeah. wins are so fucking satisfying. Nice. But the way the message that I get from that is far more important. I won because I didn't quit. Nice. And I'm getting that from a video game and just a little three, two and a half minute experience. But the way I can observe and pay attention to those messages and see those signs... I really like that about myself, and I'm paying attention more, and the eyes are open. You're built different, man. So as long as we're paying attention, we'll see the signs. We'll see it. We'll see where we should go. Yeah. How we should. But we got to pay attention. And and you got to have the right people in your life. And and it starts with being able to be brought through for something like this. This is the right environment. Yeah, so man. I'm thankful for no, that. thank you so much for having us. We thank you for being our our first guest, our on our debut episode, man. And uh, you definitely episode. live that DDHD, um, you know, path right there. You walk the walk, you talk the talk, man. Appreciate and we're it. we're excited to see your future, man. 
Hey. Keep us posted. Yeah, I will. You know? I will. And uh, we'll take it away. This is the conclusion of our first debut episode of DDHD Podcast. This is Info Kawahu. I'm surprised the producer didn't try to overproduce us there. <laughs> oh, they tried. <laughs> no, we got our DMs. We got our DMs right there. <laughs> you actually did. I'm just really nice. Uh, you actually did. But that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Man. You deserve it, man. But thank you, you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate and you it. can follow us Sorry, on the yeah. at DDHD Podcast. Yep. Um, I am your co-host, Marwan Maher. I'm Juice. And this is? I'm Paul Kowaho. Thank you Turn very much. Let's yeah. get it.